An iconic Providence pizza place that's been in business for more than six decades has closed its doors for good. Tommy's Pizza was founded in 1955 and says they were forced to close this week. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter caught up with the owner to talk about the closure and the end of an era. Courtney. Tommy's Pizza in Providence opened 66 years ago, but they're saying due to an increase in violence in the city, plus slow business, they thought about closing the shop, but it wasn't until the effects of COVID-19 that that thought became a sad reality. Tommy's Pizza, located on Chalkstone Avenue in Providence, has closed their doors permanently. I just thought with the multi-generational following of people all these years that, you know, we'd be pretty secure, but the last seven years have not been that way. Owner Tommy Sacco says it's one of the oldest restaurants in Providence. In 1955, his grandfather opened it. Fast forward to 2021, current owner Sacco says he slept on it and cried for days after making the decision to close. My heart and soul was into this business from growing up as a young boy. And I cried a lot because I didn't want to see this place close. He says the writing has been on the wall for several years. He says a combination of increasing violence in the city and financial losses was making it impossible to stay open. There's definitely more crime and there's definitely less foot traffic because a lot of the people that used to live in this neighborhood moved out. But says COVID-19, the virus that closed many restaurant doors, finally pushed them over the edge and closed theirs too. I mean, it's impossible to get staff and uh, also with people doing their uh, remote working. So a lot of downtown was a lot of our business. No one's downtown anymore. Employees and customers say they are heartbroken. You know, I have three children and, you know, I was pregnant with two of them. He's been in my life for 28 years. People carving their names in the walls, you know, where they met their husband or wife, their first date. There's a lot of history here. Now the owner says he wants customers to know the Cranston location will remain open. In Providence, I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.